Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about how to screen mirror or cast your phone screen on your Windows 11 computer. Of course, there are a lot of programs or software that you can use in order to do this. But in this video, we're going to talk about a software in particular called AirDroid Cast. Before talking about the software, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. Of course, you're going to have a download link for AirDroid Cast in the description below. This is a powerful and easy to use screen sharing and controlling tool that you can use on Android or iOS and even on PC, Windows or Mac. The software has a lot of flexibility and you can use it between different platforms and you can cast or screen mirror your phone screen or other computer screen on another computer screen very easily. As I've said, you can download the software from the link below in the video's description. The installation process of the software is really simple, next, next and finish. And this is how the software interface looks. You have a few options you can connect or cast wirelessly using AirPlay. This is only available if you have an iPhone or a Mac. You can also connect using a USB cable and also you can cast using a nine digit cast code. In my opinion, the easiest way to cast or screen mirror your phone screen is using the wireless tab. And here you're just gonna have to enter this code that you see here on your phone's AirDroid Cast app. Of course, you're gonna see in a few seconds how easy it is to install it on your phone. In my case, I have an Android, just search on Google Play or Play Store, AirDroid Cast, you're gonna find it, install it, and then just open it up. This is how the app looks on the phone, and on your phone, in order to screen mirror your phone screen on your computer, all you need to do is to enter the code that you see on your computer here to your phone. In this case, it is 0051703892. And then I just click on start casting on my phone. It's gonna connect to the server. I'm gonna have to allow this for casting on my computer. It's gonna connect to my Android phone. And then I have to click on start now in order to let the app to start recording on my phone. And also I can click on enable to have all the privileges on the computer. And as you can see, now I'm screen mirroring my phone screen on my computer as easy as that. As you can see, everything is pretty responsive in my opinion. And in addition to this, you can also control your phone screen using the computer. You just have to click on this button, turn on control. And on your phone, you're going to have to enter into the notification, tap on OK. And then you're going to have to download an additional add-on from the Google Play in order to be able to control the phone through your Windows 11 computer. Just install this add-on really easily. And then you're just going to have to grant the control add-on permissions to allow the recipient clients control the device. Click on this and then just allow it to be used. And as you can see right now, I can control my phone using my computer. I can just do the common gestures in order to control the phone as easy as that. And you also have some quick buttons here that you can use. You have the back button, you have the home button, the recent tasks, notification center, swipe down, swipe up, and also switch input method. You also have access to the device media control. You also have access to the microphone and also you can rotate the screen if you want and you can watch something on your phone or something like that. So if you ask me, I think AirDroid Cast is a nice software that you can use in order to screen mirror your phone on your Windows 11 computer. Additionally, you also have a few settings that you can have access to in the Windows app. You have some general settings regarding the language you have the control mode with some keyboard shortcuts, you have AirPlay service, cable, devices, and also about. Make sure to check for updates once in a while to be sure that you have the latest version. And when you want to close the session, you can just close the session on your computer. You can confirm to end the session and the session will be completely closed. And you're also going to see a notification on your phone. As I've said, you're going to have a download link to AirDroid Cast in the description below, the first link. You can download it for and try it for free and you can use it really, really easily. Easily. As you saw, you have a lot of options, but in my opinion, the wireless option is the easiest and most intuitive to use. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from Tech Base. Until next time, have a nice day.